It's necessary for me to mention that I'm not a materialist, yet I'm not an anti-materialist. I look at these things as dualistic in nature, as being dualistic in nature. Destroying matter or resources unceremoniously is... isn't a good thing. If there's a reason for it, if there's a way to allocate it properly, do so. But to imply that the solution to most problems depends solely upon the resources is also a terrible way of looking at things. Kind of like commentary, actually. Like He responded to a picture on Facebook of a little girl saving a fish from drowning. He said... This is the perfect way to describe modernism and naivety of it all because we're using foreign aid and giving resources to people that don't need it, i.e. the uncivilized, the savages, and the negroids, and it's causing harm, making the place worse than ever. And thinking back to old people that say, that we need to give foreign aid, or we need to give slave reparations, or we need to do this and that. I'm starting to realize that Joshua is right. Kenoli commentary is right. Mufasa is right. Because when we give this kind of stuff away, we tend to forget that if you overfeed a jar of flies and they start overbreeding, they get disease and they grow extinct. And sooner or later that's going to happen in Africa. It's overpopulated. We're giving too many resources to them. They're becoming diseased with stuff that's inconceivable to us, like an AIDS epidemic of their level. And all sorts of stuff like malaria. And as a consequence, you're getting dictators like Kony that are, they're not Mussolini's. They're, their whole perspective is just one giant to my dick. And it's easy to see through it all. But as a consequence, we're going down. Africa isn't going to last. We are helping Africa. Africa by starving it of its real need. It doesn't need the material. Burn it off. Give all, burn up all that money that you're giving to them. Burn up all those clothes you're going down giving them. Get rid of all that Salvation Army bullshit. What they need, they already have. Africa's already full of sustenance, it's all pretty full of, it has some of the best resources ever, the land is rich, and they thrive off of it, I don't care that blacks have lower IQs and average, that they're in the 60s, 70s, African Americans are in the 80s, because, while it is important, I'm not a race denier, you guys should know this by now. IQ doesn't matter. Guess what? If you go full arena and say, well, it's all about IQ, fuck the average white too because he's average at 105 and that's unbelievably stupid. The Jews don't mean shit because they have 115 or 120 as their average. I'm so much higher. Well, I hate to break it to you, but that's like saying, man, fuck everyone knows I'm the best guy in town because my dick is 13 inches. Fuck the Asians. The Asians don't mean anything. But fuck the black people, too, because not all black people have 13 inch dicks. Not all Native Americans have the 13 inch. I got that 13 inch. 
if an Asian guy can satisfy a female, then there is some claim to this anti-material argumentation if Africa has survived so far with the little that it does have then there is some claim to it. Less is more sometimes. That doesn't mean that you disregard all matter. No, it just means that some people need less than others. Not every not everyone needs the level of income that a CEO receives. Not always. I certainly don't. There's a lot of disadvantages that come from having CEO level money that the typical left libertarian will not admit to. You have less kids. And of course, that's why I'm not an that's why I'm not an anti materialist. That's why anti materialism sucks. I hate going to double negatives, but more kids, oh that's materialistic. I have six kids, I have eight kids, I have ten kids. There's more to children than matter, of course, but again there's so many variables worth conceding to. Take Sports, for instance, you have a team of the guys with the best stats. Everyone has crazy stats. Does that mean they're going to beat out the other team? No, because teamwork is another variable. Work ethic, competitiveness. Darwin speaks about this. People talk shit about Darwin all the time, and sometimes they really should, but... Darwin mentions it. it's not survival of the fittest, the way people think make it out to be. He says so himself that it's the people, it's the species, it's the group that wills themselves the more, strongest will to power, doesn't go down without a fight. That's the team, that's the group, that's the entity that passes on its genes and survives. And we keep looking at things in terms of the haves and the have-nots. Well, the meek shall inherit the earth sometimes. That's really how it goes. This is Mr. Wonka 7. And take everything I say with a grain of salt, but... Don't give that Jay-Z money away to Zimbabwe or any of these places. You'll, you'll soon regret it.